Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Avalon and we are back in Valheim today for another seed discovery video. This seed is a pretty cool little seed. It's got some really nice highlights. Unfortunately, it's got a couple of low lights as well. But overall, I think it's like an eight and a half. It's a pretty decent little seed with two maypoles, which is cool. And one of those maypoles is in an area that is really, really good. So that's what makes it um, a high value seed, in my opinion. And we're going to get into it. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So here is the second maypole and the one that is the highest value, in my opinion. It's right on the water. It's pretty nice. You've got a couple of resources here. You've got a village here. You've got five stone form a portal hub over there, um, which might be nice for like a boar pen or something. A um, couple of little buildings. It's it's really not an, a, a highly developed little village, but the Maypole location is great, and you're going to find out in a minute why. Um, we also have a second Maypole. Now, we're going to show the map. As you can see here, we're by a trader. There's an Elder Spawn, and there's a Bone Mouse. That's why this Maypole is pretty cool. However, you're not going to be able to get over here just by running. You are going to have to get into cheat mode. Now, the second Maypole is over here. That you can get to by running from the spawn. That Maypole is also right on the water, and it's a really good location. However, it doesn't have these three uh, points of interest near it. So, that's the main thing here. That's why this Maypole is, is in a really good spot. It's why we're doing a seed discovery video on it. You've got an elder, a bone mass, and a trader right here. And this is a decent um, black forest location. There's, there's some nice crypts in here. There's a couple of crypts by this bone mass too. It's not super weak. It's not really strong. But the fact that it's by a decent location for... Uh, you can have a decent build right here. This is open ocean. And you've got a maypole and you've by the elder trader. Again, we look for things like this in the seed discovery videos. We want to see proximity to uh, places we want to go. We want really good biomes. That's the crux of what I do with these seed discovery videos. I don't just look for maypoles. I look for quality seeds that you can play. Now, maypoles, again, for, for people that are new to my channel, maypoles are not required to play Valheim. You don't need them. It gives you a plus one to your rested bonus, which the rested bonus is, is you, you, the longer you sleep or the longer you rest, well, no, let me rephrase that. It, there are bonuses that you get when you sleep, and there's a whole bunch of rested bonuses, buffs that you can get in the game. As an example... A fire gives you a rested bonus buff. So you sleep, the bonus lasts longer the more uh, items that you have that increase the rested bonus buff, right? And the maypole just gives you plus one. So it's plus one minute to your rested buff. I, I know <laughs> I just spent a whole minute kind of twisting it up. That's all it does. It just gives you plus one minute to the rested buff. You don't need it to play Valheim. However, the maypole remains the only unique item in the game. And what I mean by that is, is every item in the game spawns on every seed. Okay, trolls, iron, ichthyr, um, tar pits. They, every seed has everything except for a maypole. A maypole is the only thing that does not spawn on every seed. So it's unique. That's why I find them. So I try to find the seeds that have really, you know, good setups. That's going to make a good gameplay seed for you. Plus a maypole. And that's why we're here. This seed has two of them. So let's take a look at the map. And we're going to really get into this. So let me pop these off. Okay. Here's the maypole we're at right now. Okay. As you can see, this is a fairly extensive black forest back here which is nice here's that swamp area that has the bone mass and i'll show you that in a minute um here's that other maypole okay you can run to that that is right on the water i did check it out 
um, and this will get you out into the ocean. However, this is a pretty good sized little starter area for you. Um, you're going to be able to run through all of this stuff. These are not long distances. It's when you see the dark blue, that's where you're not going to be able to swim through, really. Okay? Um, like, you're not going to be able to run up here and swim over here. You're just not going to be able to do it. Okay? You might be able to get up here. I don't I don't know what the distance is between that little island and that maypole. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. But the point is, is that this maypole is superior because... Here the, here's the elder... Here's the bone mass. Here's the Haldor. Not bad. Um, if we look a little bit further here, here's our spawn. Obviously, it clears around there. There's the other maypole. There's not a whole lot around it. However, you do have a bone mass down here, a motor, and a yakla. It's not too shabby. But we're probably going to be spending most of our time up here, which gets us to this motor and this yakla as well. Okay, so it's not horrible in terms of this is going to be a pretty good early game seed okay you're going to be you got it clear that's you know we don't really need to get into that in terms of uh, difficulty etc you're clearing it clear if you set up your base here you've got haldor elder and the bone mass now once you finish bone mass you're into you know heading towards the end game you've got a hilder up here as well Okay, so you're probably going to want to go north. You've got one over here as well, too, and a Yagloth. But you really want this motor and Yagloth together. Now, the issue is, is you don't have a queen up here. If you had a queen to the north, that would be great. You've got a queen over here, which is okay. Um, this is really, really close. I'm actually probably going to do a separate video on this just to, you know, show you what you know just another cool location but um if you base up over here you're really struggling to find a motor and a queen you've got one to the to the deep east got a motor here i think your play is definitely going to be to the north you've got a hilder you've got your yagloth and motor so really you've got fairly good proximity to all the bosses that you need now we're going to look at each individual boss setup in terms of the biome resources etc in a minute but what we really need to do is it's okay you know we finished Yagloth where are we going to get a queen there's a couple of queens down south here that are really really far but they're really close to the Ashlands now I suspect that when Ashlands drops it's going to alter all of the maps a lot okay so uh, if you find a map that you really like that has a really good location for all of your stuff, it, get it saved in your library now because it saves that version of it. But really, the queen is the problem. There's a there's four of them down here to the south, and there's only one over here. So you're really kind of trapped here in terms of what you want to do at endgame. And endgame right now is, is the Mistlands and the queen. Um, again, full disclosure, I am not a fan of the Mistlands. I really don't like it. I haven't done a whole lot in the Mistlands. However, if you're a completionist and you want to complete Valheim, you must do the Queen. Um, you've really only got one over here to your east, which is not super close to your where you're going to be doing most of your work. However, it's closer than the ones to the south. So that's like a full point point and a half off for the seed is because the queen is just not close by it is what it is anyways let's take a look at some of these tombs and crypts we'll start doing deeper dive here into that um you know it's funny when i first did it i think i was looking at this one for the for the dark for the black forest so um and this bone mass isn't great either this is okay. You're not going to get everything that you need up here, though. It, it really depends on what's in these crypts, right? It, it, if you get enough certling cores, then you're good. You can farm these up. Um, the problem's really going to be up here with the bone masses. You really don't have enough. Uh, one crypt isn't enough. Even if you don't like to do the... Even if you don't like to do... Um, the swamp, uh, still, one isn't enough. Now, we're going to head north anyways, right? Because there's a Hilder up here as well. 
and there's a Hilder over here. Okay, now that might be your play because that is a lot of iron right here. Okay, so you've got this Hilder here. You've got this Hilder over here. What I would recommend, and you've got this Hilder here as well. Now, here's the problem. you got to get over here. Um, now, why does that matter? It's likely that what you're going to do is, is it, whatever, wherever the traders are set up, you're probably going to put a portal hub near there, right? The problem is, is getting over to this Hilder without triggering this one or triggering that one. Um, you can take a chance and try to split them, but it's all due to proximity, right? So the cl as soon as you get close to one of the, the traders, it, it procs it, and then the rest of the traders go away. Um, I want to open this one up here. And the reason is, is I want access to these sunken crypts. So how am I going to do that? I'm probably going to get into cheat mode, honestly. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be flying down here in cheat mode right till I get about here and then go straight north. Um, I know there's a lot of people that don't like to go into cheat mode for Valheim, but I'm trying to set this up as a, as, as a main server, a uh, main yeah, main seed for you, right? Where you do most of your gameplay. Anyways, I know that's a, uh, to, that's a lot to say. There's other Hilders that you can do if you want to go explore other, uh, bi you know, uh, swamp biomes. There's plenty of places to get crypts. There's some down here with the motor and the Yagloth, which brings you closer to the queen, by the way. Uh, there's, there's more down here. I mean, there's other places you can go. But for me, I'm playing to the north anyways because I want to get to this Yagloth and this Bone Mass. And there's just not a lot of crypts around here um, for Bone Mass. But that's okay. Uh, we can find other places to get crypts. This Elder could be better. It, it, it's not horrible, though. You've got, what, five here? It really depends on how many Sartling Cores you get out of it. But anyways, we're not doing great there. Let's look at this motor and see how we're doing up here. And we're going to look at frost caves. Not bad. Four is okay. Um, you've got one down here as well, which is close to your spawn. Each one of these little biomes has one. I mean, uh, you'd like to see more, but four is reasonable. It's not horrible. What we really need, though, is... Oh, there is a tetra lake here, which is cool. We want to make sure there's three dragon eggs up here, and there is. So this is a decent motor location. It's not the best I've ever found, but um, you're going to get everything that you need in this motor location, and that's the point. You're not going to have to go to a different motor like you will for the bone mass to get the resources you need. There's plenty of caves up here. There's plenty of eggs uh, to spawn motor. And I'm, you know, I don't know for sure, but I bet there's a couple of silver veins up here. I mean, you should be okay. Um, and it also depends on, on what you know, the server, how often are resources respawning, how often are caves refreshing, you can set that. If you're, you know, also if you're playing on a modded playthrough, this could be completely different. You could, these could refresh every day. It's really up to you, but that's still the play though. I'm still doing this motor up here. That's a decent location. Um, this is a nice little mountain location as well. Um, you know, this is a really good motor location down here. Plenty of caves, plenty of eggs, a tetra lake if you want that. Um, there's a hilder down here as well that pulls you closer to the queen to the south. And there's a yagloth up here. Um, I think this is a decent backup as well. However, you have to get to it. You know, so uh, if sailing's not a big deal to you, sure, you can get to that. Then you've got the bone mass here, which it's got a few iron. Uh, it's got a few sunken crypts. Not great, though. But this right here is great. So this motor to the south may be the better play. I'm still heading north because I want the Yagloth as well. But two decent motor locations here that you can check out. Let's take a look at Yagloth and let's see where Yagloth, this Yagloth falls now. We want to see totem camps, and it's very rare to find a lot of totem camps around a motor. I mean a Yagloth. It's very rare that you're going to find five totem camps around Yagloth. I just, I, I, I don't, I've never really seen it. This one's not bad. Um, this one's okay, but it's fairly spread out. What we want to find is, is we want a Yagloth 
that has four or five right around it and we really don't have that here um again it really depends if you're in cheat mode you can fly down here and grab these there's a whole bunch in this little strip right here but you're going to need five to spawn yagloth um again i'm thinking you're going to be coming up here anyways for this hilder there's a bunch here there's a few over here and there's a few over here it's enough um Yagloth is interesting because it's one of those the plains are one of those biomes where it you've got goblin camps but you don't have a whole lot of totem camps right and you need those totems to spawn Yagloth and it, it would just be great if if you could find four if you could find five of them right around this Yagloth now these aren't super far away there's still four here don't get me wrong this is an horrible but that fifth one's either over here maybe you set up the hilder here you got to go over here. It, it's not horrible. It's okay. Uh, what else do we, we want to see? The tar pits. Only a couple over here. There's a whole bunch over here. If you really want the aesthetic of the black tar uh, for your builds, if you're not doing a cheap mode playthrough, if you're doing a straight, strict playthrough, um, you're going to have to go farm them up. There's a couple around here, though. So, again, you've got your Hilders here. There's three around here. This is probably your Hilder play somewhere, one of these three. I don't know which one you're going to do. I, I wanted to do this one. Uh, but, you know, to each their own. Miss Lands. This is probably the queen play for me. Because I want everything close by. So... I, I, I'd rather not travel that much. However, um, I can see that most, a lot of people do do cheat mode. It's easy to get around the map, excuse me. Um, but if you're doing a, a strict playthrough without cheat modes, this is probably going to be the queen that you're going to get to easiest. E the easiest queen you're going to get to. So let's take a look at the resources around there. Um, not bad. Uh, not great though. There's there's plenty up here as well, um, and then there's this strip. But when we go down and look at the south, um, we've got plenty down here. Um, and this queen might be your best play because you've got a bone mass, a trader, a motor. Uh, this queen looks pretty juicy as well. Um, overall, I, I don't really spend any time in the this lands. I, I, I did it for a little bit. It was not fun. I didn't enjoy it. And I don't play video games to not have fun. I play video games to have fun. So um, if you're doing Miss Lands, that's cool. Um, this is your this queen to the east is your, your closest. There's plenty of places along the way that you're going to be able to, to farm up resources. There's a nice little black forest biome right here as well that you can probably base up. There's a little plains, a little swamp. Um, and, you know, again, there is a Yagloth and a Bone Mass over here as well. I mean, it's it, it's not... This is by no means a tidy seed. However, this part of the seed, this Maypole with this Haldor, Elder, and Bone Mass is really, really nice. That's the reason why I'm doing the, the seed discovery on this, and to be completely honest. While we're doing the deep dive as well. Um, what else can I show you? Let's... Let's get rid of some of this stuff in the map to clean it up. Okay, here's our spawn. Let's take a look at where the Leviathans. You're going to be based here, probably, or here. There's a couple around. Um, you know, enough for you to get your Chitlin and your Abyssal Harpoon. Um, you know, as you move down south, there's a bunch down here, which is interesting. But this little grouping of three right here should suffice. What else we got? Beehives. You definitely want to grab some beehives before you base up. There's plenty around the spawn. There usually is. Um, definitely get these queen bees. You need three or four of them. Get them set up producing honey as soon as you can when you find your base location. And within a, a couple of gaming sessions, they will be producing enough honey for you. We will have a surplus. So three or four is all you need at this. Plenty around the spawn. What else we got? Uh, we'll do Hilder's quest last. Let's, where are the piggies? The useful runes. Show me the piggies. Um, there's a couple right here. And yes, this one, 
by this maypole is actually really, really close. It's a really... This maypole is a very good maypole location, actually. Um, it's just not the best maypole location for this seed. If, if, you know, this is a really good maypole location because it's got the, you know, the elder, the trader, and the bone mass. Um, but this one does have this boar, farm, boar um, spawn right near it. And when I investigated it, it looked pretty good. I mean, this would be... This is a good location. This is a location that I would probably play because if, if you look at this just in proximity, you've got mountains, you've got, you've got swamp, you've got black forest, and you've got meadows. I've got all the resources are really early game resources that I want to get. You know, this isn't bad. Um, and it's got a boar stone. But again, this one is the better maypole. That's why we, we've grabbed that. So let's take a look at the Hilder quests real quickly. They're not stunning in terms of proximity, but they're not horrible either. Okay. So what we want to do is, is we want to find the quests by Hilder, right? If you look, as I click on and off, they're up to the north, most of them. Okay. You've got all three of them up here by the Hilder that I recommended you take which is this one. However, it, all three of the quests are by the Hilders up here. Okay, there's actually four. There's this one over here. But you've got these three Hilders right here, whichever one you pick, and you've got the quest fairly close by. That's actually a positive for this particular seed. Again, we've got the Maypole here with the Haldor. We've got a Bone Mouse. We've got a Trader. And we've got um, the Elder. Then we've got Hilder. And we've got the Hilder quests up here. Not bad. It, it's it's really decent, uh, the Hilder quest. So that's a plus. That's a win for the seed. Um, overall, I think where I'm at with the seed is probably like an eight or an eight and a half. It more more towards an eight. It's it's a pretty the early game for this seed. If you get to the to that maypole to the north where I'm at now, it's going to be a good run for you. You also have access, you can finagle it and get the Hilder that you want to the further north, and you've got the Hilder quests available to you there as well. It's not a bad little seed. I think this would be great for a single player. I think this is going to have enough um, challenge to it where this would be a good seed for, an, uh, for a new player. Uh, somebody who's, you know, a little bit experienced in video games, though, this is going to be great for someone who doesn't understand the genre like survival and doesn't you, you got to have a, a good a decent basic knowledge of Valheim and what you're supposed to be doing um, because there there is you know you're gonna have to traverse quite a bit of the map unless you go into cheat mode uh, which is fine but you're gonna have to really uh, become a good sailor if you're doing this in single player without cheat mode however I think it's a good seed I think it's definitely good enough to do a seed discovery video on because this little island that I'm on has multiple different assets on it. You've got a bone mass, an elder, and a trader. That's one little island right here. That is the highlight. There are other positives here with the Hilder and the Hilder quest, which we've gone over, but I think an eight is where I land on this. I think this would be a nice seed to have in your catalog um, if you wanted to do like a bone mass elder farm if you're playing like on a uh, you know, if you're doing a modded playthrough, I don't know. It might be, might work for that. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the seed. I really appreciate you taking your time to come by and watch my content as always. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support and I'll talk to you again soon.